Hello everyone, my name is Chisom Steve. No, let me correct that. Hi guys, my name is Chisom Steve Obunaya. Yeah, you had the right because your baby girl got married some weeks ago. Drum rolls. <laughs> okay, so guys. <coughs> I'm very excited because this particular topic is something that everybody has been wanting to know. So I'm going to talk about it. But before I go right into the video, I want to sincerely welcome our first timers. If this is your first time visiting this page, you're welcome. And please do well to like, to subscribe, to comment and share because you are in the right place. Thank you guys for always turning up for me. You know I cannot do anything without you guys. Abi, I love you. And if you are our old time customer, my loss, stay well because this time I am so, so prepared and I'm going to be gisting with people. Everything. I'm going to tell you <laughs> how to fall in love with the love of your life and make your love of your life fall in love with you. <laughs> so guys, let's get right into the video. <clears throat> Okay, guys, welcome back to my channel. And um, on today's episode, I want to be talking about how I met my husband. <laughs> okay, um, I think we met in 2021. <laughs> this feels so weird discussing this because of all, I didn't know I'd like. I didn't know I could keep something away from a lot of people. Yes, of course, internet, I only show what I want to show. But I didn't know, like, how can I have this sweet, fine bubble? This yummy, cute, handsome bubble. And I did not show you. Hey! Do you know my contact, my WhatsApp contact, they only knew because, um, I think, when, they, when I had my, after my, Traditional marriage. That was, that was when I started posting his face. Like, people on my contact, aside from my very close pals, people on my contact, they did not know about this man. Like, I did not show anybody his face. Hey. And guess what? I did not, I wasn't hiding his face because maybe I was insecure. No, I can never. Because I know what I have and I know who I am. So, that was not even about the case of being insecure. It was just, I think I, I grew mentally, physically, and spiritually. So I, I just, I didn't know, I, I didn't know the reason why, but I just found myself not wanting to share my relationship status out there. Finally, we are here. So back to the gist. <clears throat> Let me, <laughs> let me dress up. <laughs> okay, guys. So I met my husband in 2021, I think around March, April. Guess where? On Instagram. <laughs> yes, Instagram. You heard that right. I met my husband, my very handsome, cute, yummy baby. Everything, some shorts. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. I met him on Instagram in 2021. That day, I, I, I just came out from the exam hall. I think I was in 100 level. I just entered the school, my first semester exam. So I, I just um, finished with the exam. So I had to go back to my hostel. So while in my hostel, I laid down. I was supposed to read for the next exam. That's the next day. But I just decided to, okay, just check Instagram and that. I think I, I just clocked um, 10K, I be 12K um, followers then. So I, you know that excitement now, like, uh -uh, I'm now um, in the thousands, like 12K, I'd be 10K. So I was excited. So I came on Instagram that evening and 
I went to explore. I think I wanted to search someone. And then I saw this very cute, dark, handsome guy. I'm going to be putting up the picture while I say this. So I'm going to be, this is the picture that I saw on Explore. And I'm like, oh, wow. Baby boy, where are you from? Like in my head, I was like, ah, your mother must be a woman of Hebrew because how come she, like, how is she able to give birth to this very, very handsome boy? She's from Hebrew and that's why she deliver. She deliver this very, 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 very cute package. I'm like, oh, this one here, I like him. <laughs> so immediately, it wasn't himself that posted because he was on private. Somebody, I think, um, my husband is a military man. He's a naval officer. So one of those um, military groups, what Instagram people, they just posted his picture, I think for Man Crush Monday, and I saw it. So they did not tag him. Like, uh -uh. why did these people not tag the love of my life, my husband? Because there, immediately I saw it, I said, this is my husband. And I, I remember I told my friends there, and I said, see, I found my husband. I went to my sister's, Two of my sisters were attending the same school as me. I think they were in 300 level. Yes, they were in 300 level then. My elder sister and my younger sister. So I came, I just, I said, Stafit, Stafit, can you come and see, come and see. I found my husband and they were like, <laughs> I'm like, you should stay here. I will come back and give you people testimony of how everything went through. This is what I said to them, I swear. And he, it happened that evening. I now took it upon myself. I, w I was exploring Instagram. I wanted to, I, f I started going to their followers. I went to, remember my nan told me, ah, ah, go to the likes and see if this bubble liked. And I now checked the likes. I did not see his picture. Then something said, check the, the comments. So I checked the comment and I saw somebody mentioned him and said, rooms. I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's like this person knows this bobo. <laughs> so I clicked on the name that they mentioned. And he's on private. I'm like, oh, okay. This boy knows what he carries. That's why he's on private. Because why will you stress a girl like me? Up, I went. <laughs> okay, so, I'm sorry. I'm too playful. I'm so sorry. So, I rushed into his DM. I am into his um, page and I sent a request. When I sent a request, I sent a request around, I think around that two something. And around three something to four, he accepted my request and followed back. The way I danced, I asked my sisters, I bought them something that I say, ah, my husband do, my husband have followed back. And he said, just be mumu, just be doing yourself, mumu, your husband. And guess what? This man happens to be my first boyfriend ever. And my only boyfriend and ended up my husband. Is that not miraculous God working? Is that not my Baba God working? <laughs> I don't I don't know what it means to say and my ex. I did not do relationship. I met this man and he was my first boyfriend and he ended up my one and only husband. Even after this world, this is my husband forever and more. Amen. <laughs> so I I stayed buying things for my friends and my sisters. I was like, ah, my husband. They said, what are we celebrating? See, my husband just followed me. Everybody would be just laughing. So I just went into his name. I said, hello, um, good evening. My name is Chisom and you. He said, hi, good evening. My name is Kena Daniel Bunaya. I said, okay, um, where are you from? 
I said it's for Mabi. I said for Menugu. I said, um, okay, I saw your I saw your picture on Explore and I like you. And I sent you a request. And I said, Oh, thank you. And I'm like, what kind of a person are you? Are you a good person or are you a bad person? I say, How about we how about I let you see that for yourself and to decide if you are if I'm a good person or a bad person. So I'm like, okay. And we did not talk again. That was the last stuff we spoke about. And we did not talk again till two weeks later. Okay, before that two weeks time, the next day, he posted, I think, um, yes, it was March now because it was March. On the 8th of March, International Women's Day, he posted pictures of women, fine girls. And I, I just, hey, God, my mind just, like, Jesus, this guy has married. And he has this ring that he wears on his finger, this, um, the fourth finger. And, well, it's not a wedding ring, but he wears the ring there. I'm like, what if, I said, this guy is married. Maybe he does not like wearing his wedding ring, but he just wants to wear the ring so people will know he's married. Though. I'm like, Eba, me, oh, oh my God, oh, Chimo. <laughs> like, this boy wants to kill me. If to say, to be this boy, now nah, give him a that is not. <laughs> that was what in my mind. I'm like, this one was the wrong. This guy wants to wave me mad. What is this? Hey, my mind just shatter. I did not say anything again. I kept. I just viewed. I was just viewing the story. I did not say anything. I kept quiet. Two weeks later, I posted a picture. This picture, and he came to my DM and he wrote. He sent the picture to my DM and he said, hmm, "You are tensioning the internet." Too. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. Um, what happened to the picture? It's like it's too hot. I said, oh, I'm so sorry. And honestly, I didn't think. I went and delete, not delete, I went to archive the picture with over 4,000 likes then. That was the first day I was getting 4,000 likes on my picture. And this bobo came and said, it's too hot. And I went to delete it and um, archive it. He came back and he, he's like, wait, did you really archive a picture on your page because I talked about it. I'm like, yes, you said it was too hot. I'm like, okay. And that day, he asked for my number. <laughs> I gave him my number and immediately he called me. And we spoke for two hours straight. I was expecting when he called, when the number called, I was expecting, yeah, hello. And what I heard is, hi, hello. Like, Hey, I'm like, look at husband, look at husband 101 here. I'm like, this guy, I'm going to get you. Wherever you want to, I'm going to catch you. I'm going to catch you and I'm, I'm going I'm to groom you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to husband you by force. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I, and he, like he spoke, we spoke, there was this connection, like I know this person. I just felt like this person is my person. There was this ease, there was this, I was not trying to form. I was just at peace with myself. I was just myself. Everything was flowing. And we spoke the next day. He was in class because he was on a course too at that time. So the same time I was writing an exam, he was on a call. So he called me in class and he wanted to just um, hear from me. I'm like, ah, this Bobo is serious, yo. This Bobo now, he they stay and he they check up on me. I'm like, okay, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. So we, so we didn't date. We're not dating all those times. We're friends 2021 that we start talking. It's 2022. May 2022. May 6, 2022. He asked me to be his girlfriend. First off, he didn't ask me over the phone. He called me on the phone and he's like, Where do you stay? 
are you in a Saba or you're in school? I'm like, I'm in a Saba. And he's like, okay, I want to come and see you. Like, hey, my house, they are strict too. I didn't tell him more. Because I'm, I'm feeling like a big girl. I would like be telling somebody that I've been crushing on my, my husband that I've envisioned. I would like be telling him that they will not allow me. I don't want to chase the bobo. So I chested it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> it was when I dropped the car. I'm like, hey, my house, they are strict. How are you going to come and see me? I don't even go out. They don't let us go out. So how, where do I even tell them I'm going to? The only business I have is go to school, come back, go to church, come back. So how am I going to go and tell them that? Um, where am I even going to tell them I'm going to? So after everything, I just summoned courage because the day was fast approaching. I had to summon courage and I told my mom, like I said, mommy, there's this guy I've been talking to from school. And now he said he wants to come and see me. Hey, my mom is saying, hey, what do you mean? Smoke girl like you. You want to be talking to man in my house. Just that. Hey, hey, it became war. It was now, you know, I had to be a family thing, family members, her friends were like, ah, she's 23 years now. Allow her. She's old enough to have a boyfriend. Is it because this one is even telling you? What about the ones that would not even tell you, but they have somebody they are dating? And then uh, finally, finally, she accepted, and he came. The first time I saw this guy, like, he's not even fine on pictures. He saw me, he's like, you're not even pretty on pictures. You're too cute. I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, ah. This one does not know he's a cute boy. He has gold eyes. Like, how is it possible that that guy has a gold eyes? I'm like, damn, I melted. <laughs> and I took him inside. And everybody fell in love with him. My brother, my mom, my sisters, everybody fell in love with him. And I'm like, okay, that's it. And he said, Later, when we, I think, we went to get food for him to eat, and I said, would you be my girlfriend? I said, of course. I've been dying to hear you say that, because I like you. And I, I did not hide it, too. I told him, he said, baby boy, I like you. What's your stand? And finally, he told me that he likes me, that he has liked me from the first day, but he was just being careful because of his past relationship. So he didn't want to jump into something else and maybe hurt someone else for something that another person did to him. So, so he's like, that's why he had to just keep quiet. He didn't tell me, but he likes me, he loves me and <clears throat> that's it. We started up that May, we that me i took him to my spiritual father because after two days he was in a sabbath i think a few days and after two days he started asking me how do your people um what does it take for your people to um get for somebody to marry someone from your place where's your place where are you from <laughs> i'm like okay Two days after asking me to be his girlfriend, he's already asking these questions. I shall told him. So one day like that, one faithful day like that, he called me, I think, May, May 6th, 2023. Okay, yes. We, he came to us about to, so because we could celebrate the uh, one year of relationship and also see my spiritual father because he asked that I brought him so he can see the young man that wants to that I'm in a relationship with. So when he came, he now started asking me all the stuff. This that 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 I told you. And that was it though. That's how we got here. That's how this boy have married me, or like 
I met the best man in the world. So ladies, this is where my story comes to an end for part one. Until the next, the next vlog, the next episode, he's going to tell us his part of the story, how he felt, how he met me, and we'll come to a conclusion part. So this is part one of how I met my husband. So tell me in the comment section if you like this video and what other video would you like us to discuss. So if you like somebody, there's no law that says uh, he's the guy, so he must tell you first. No. Yes, as a woman, you should have your, your courage, you should have your self-esteem. But then again, if you love somebody, walk up to them and tell them, See, baby boy, I like you. Do you like me? Because it worked for me. And I think that life is not hard. If you like somebody, just tell the person, see, I like you. Don't start waiting. I'm the girl supposed to ask me out first. No, there's no law that says a person must ask you out because he's the guy and you're the girl. If you like him, baby girl, go. Go and tell him you like him. You never can tell. Your story might be as mine. You might end up with the person that you love because i ended up with the person that i love that loves me the most and it's god it's god because summer i'm going to be talking about the battles that we faced hey it was not easy now we'll talk about that it will be an entire different video on its own i'm going to talk about it how we got here it wasn't easy but then please if you love somebody, go and tell him that you love him. Go and tell her that you love her. For another person, we go and tell the person. And then when you come, it's very late. Don't make that mistake. So guys, this is where our video comes to an end. And please, if you like the video, comment. Tell us the parts that you want to hear. Tell me where you want the more... The, the, the the video you want to see next on our vlog but after this video the next video coming up is with Ogasa. Ogasa will come and discuss his own and tell us how he knew that i am the girl for him so guys thank you so much for staying with me i love you and please do not forget to subscribe to comment to like to share and don't forget to keep supporting me. You know I'm nothing without you guys. And I love you. Thank you for staying with me. Bye. <laughs>